Welcome back to another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV. Today, I'm your host, Freshwater Joe, and we're gonna be talking about some freshwater aquariums. Finally, actual freshwater aquariums. We're looking into the Waterbox Clear Series. Specifically, I have with me right here today, the 3620. We're just gonna go over setting this brand new tank up if you guys are looking for something that is clean, it's sleek, it's modern looking. You're getting away from that ugly black rim trim on the top. A really nice, awesome light, a badass filtration system, and just an overall clean look. This is gonna be the tank for you. We offer them 3620, 2420, like the one here on the side of me, and 4820. So there's plenty a variety in sizes and gallons. This one here specifically is 50 gallons. We're gonna be using today a Tidal uh, 75. This is gonna be a little bit of overkill filtration. We always wanna go up on that. We're gonna show you how clean one of these Tidal hang on back filters. So somebody first getting into this um, can look really clean and sleek with a full decoration set up here from the store. So we're gonna go ahead and actually just get this on the back here. Obviously not gonna get this running, but just as a display. So the reason we're pairing the Tidal filter here with the Clear Series is to make it a little bit of an easier transition into a more modern style aquarium like this. If you've never done a canister or you've never done uh, an all-in-one system or you've never done a sump system, it just scares the living heck out of you. You don't have to. You can get into one of the Tidal filters. You get the media basket tray system, which we all know and love here at the Ocean State Aquatics. You can see here a little quick diagram on the back of the box, and I'm sure Danny can probably get you a better view of this. But you got your coarse media sponge and your bag of Seachem Bio Matrix here. So you have your first stage of mechanical and biological filtration, and then more biological filtration, and then you can fully customize the title there afterwards, whatever type of fine floss filter media that you want to use in there, or run in some uh, chemical medias like your max out, fuzz outs, things like that. And that's all set up right here. It's very easy. You, never, you don't have to bend down. You don't have to open up a canister. You don't have to get on your knees and use buckets or anything. Hang on back. Just make the ease of use on this aquarium. It's all right up here. It's right in the back. You lift the cover up. You can change everything out right there. Very simple and easy. You don't have to worry about O-rings leaking, anything of that nonsense. No plumbing involved. So it's a very easy beginner style aquarium. And we're going to make this look fantastic with the full decoration setup here that we offer at OSA. And you can take a look at the pricing right here. So for that top pricing, if you're just looking for the aquarium, that's gonna hit you there, the $1,138. And then the bottom one is a freshwater setup here from Ocean State Aquatics, and it's gonna be $1,758. You get everything soup to nuts, you get your lighting system, you get your filtration system, you get your heater, and your full decoration package, and all of that is included for that price. So super affordable to get into, a really nice luxury Starfire Glass Aquarium whether you wanted oak, black, or white. So I'm just gonna go through here, guys, quick, and just show you just a simple, quick decoration of the Clear Series, and just give you a little preview on how it looks, and hopefully that inspires one of you to come on down to the store up here at Seekonk and actually purchase this whole setup if you're interested, or go down to one of our other locations wherever you're nearest to Wakefield or Coventry, and take a look at the Clear Series with a Tidal hang up back filter. Come here, Danny. You wanna Wanna follow me? We're gonna go pick out some wood. I don't like the wood I had over here. This is probably my favorite part of the job, especially when you guys come in and we get to do it together. When it's by myself, I don't, I've done so many, but it's still fun to do. And when you guys come in and we awkward get the tank together, it's like going shopping for me, but it's really for you. Pardon the mess, pardon the appearance. Stacy's doing some water change and maintenance over here right now. But we're gonna come over here and maybe pick out a few pieces of wood. Hmm. Mm, too big. Looking for something that's gonna come up and out of the aquarium. If you guys, if you guys are watching this today, speaking of coming out and above the rim, if you guys tune in on Wednesday, we're gonna be doing a live video. Ernie and Scott will be hosting it, and I'm actually gonna do a video on marginal plants. So if you're interested in seeing how we use the wood to come up and out of the aquarium with the plants and the core, tune in there, live on Wednesday. I think 7:15 Eastern Standard Time, somewhere around there. Whenever they get to it. Small, but yeah. You know, it does kind of look cute. I kind of like it. I don't have anything else that matches. Oh, I know. So 
see, I like to, you know, even though there's gonna be similarities in the wood, some of this is pre-soaked, so it's gonna be a little difficult. Like, this is a pre-soaked piece of spiderweb, but it's got some really dark complexion and texture. You're gonna want something that's gonna match it if you're gonna use multiple pieces of wood, because you don't want one that looks like that and then one that looks like super pale and white and it just looks like you took two different pieces of wood from either side of the planet and put them together in one tank. Unless that's the color scheme you're going for. And then in that aspect, there's nothing wrong with that. It's totally up to you. You are the artist and you get to design it. Personally, I like to go with one solid piece and color and be cohesive in that. Oh, that is a sleeper piece over there. Oh, you know what? I think Stacy just changed my mind. I'm not that in love with the dragon wood. It's not my favorite. I don't like how red it is. No. Yeah. These look better together. All right, let's go make some magic happen. So the idea now here, you can see I have pushed up the sand real, real high in the back here to create some depth in the aquarium. Uh, that's going to give a, a little bit of an illusion that the aquarium is deeper than it really is in that aspect in that corner. It really creates some cool features. I'm going to use that to my advantage to actually kind of try and hide the components of the hang on back filter just to, to give it a better feel. We're going to be building up and using these couple of pieces of wood here to just kind of make it spectacular. I'm going to be using the rock and the wood together and I want this stuff coming up and out of the tank. I might even go for a third piece of wood here but it's just trying to get the feel, how it's gonna lay out. I want it kind of stretching across to this dead space here. I think I'm definitely gonna use these two pieces, but we're probably gonna get into a third piece because I really want it to kind of come up and out. Some nice big character stones here. I just like how they, they fit together and how they look with the, with the spider wood. Kind of looks good. You want to make it look like the wood is growing over the rock and the rock has been there from centuries. It's been there since the the ice age, you know, when they dropped and the, the wood grew over it and then the, it flooded. Now it's just a root system in there. You gotta get creative with it. You gotta think like this. Like what this would look like in nature. Customers all the time are asking how to kind of keep and maintain the slope and the substrate, whether you're using gravel or sand. And it's, it's a really great question because a, a, a lot of people do ask it. Ideally, you're creating this aquascape and it's going to stay like this. And you're really not gonna move it around much. And you're gonna go through and when you clean your aquarium, you're gonna get in the crevices and you're gonna do all your gravel siphoning and the, and the substrate that's visible here. But if you're creating like a centralized location, that's just gonna be totally like a dead space and inert. And you're actually gonna use the benefit of that deep substrate there to grow strains of bacteria that grow in anaerobic conditions where there's no oxygen. That's actually going to help break down the nitrate over time. So you can just leave it like that, but use the rocks as a barrier to kind of build up that substrate and it's gonna stay put. Not totally in love yet, but that's the process. You just gotta keep working it. You can work on this as long as you'd like. It's going to eventually become the vision that you're looking for. This is the fun part. Aquascaping the aquarium, we get to do this with you guys when you come in. If this is something that's not tickling your fancy and you say, oh, I want a different piece of wood or a different rock, we get to totally redecorate it with you and get to create something that just suits what you're looking for. So all the rocks that I'm putting in right now have nothing really to do like feature-wise and how the, the final product is gonna look, but I want the, the wood and everything to kind of stay in place, so I'm just using uh, different sizes right now, going through, seeing what fits in here that's gonna prop up the wood exactly how I'd like it to. If you're coming in here and we're actually aquascaping this together and you purchase the setup, that's what here we're here for you to help and you can kind of watch us go through it and you're able to kind of recreate it and add your own uh, twist and spin to it once you get it home or if you have us come and set it up at the, the location that the aquarium is going to be forever, we'll be able to kind of decorate and do it for you. But this is the fun part, like I've said. I'm gonna go look for another piece of wood because I want this coming up this way more so that you, you would have some option to do some marginal plants, which we're gonna get into. So when you take the time to step back and just think about it, look at it, picture this fish swimming around in there, picture what it's gonna look like, water in there, some plants coming out. I'm not 100% satisfied, but let's get some artificial plants in there. Let's do it, baby. Let's add some color. 
All right, so now we're just gonna be putting the uh, artificial plants in. Very, very simple. You're just gonna wanna kind of put these wherever you're seeing some maybe vacant space, kind of fill some gaps that maybe don't look natural. That's a great place to put in a piece of plant, a live plant, artificial, whatever you're deciding to do. And you just want to really fill out the color of the tank. Use some taller plants in the back, obviously, to get some depth. Definitely no rhyme or reason to this at all. When I'm planting these in here, the artificials anyway, um, you don't want them like just sticking out like this. Looks totally unnatural. You really want to get them in a crevice and you want to get them as far into it as possible to make it look like the plant was actually growing out of it if it were alive. I felt like these little black grasses would have been cool with this dark complexion on the wood here. Kind of coming out. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. Got some more. I'm going to steal something. Now this is epic. Some of these tall plants that we have really make a, uh, a solid background plant. I'm gonna replace this one here because it's not tall enough. I'm gonna work this into the scape here, right in front of the, the filter. That's a really cool scape. Oh, see, I got, uh, I got the A-OK -okay from uh, Danny. The cameraman likes it, thinks it's cool. That means Somebody in the audience is gonna find this interesting enough to maybe even come take a look at it. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful Waterbox Clear 3620 with a Tidal 75 from Seachem and Seache. Fully decorated, set up, $1,758 plus tax. And you are into your brand new Waterbox Clear Series Aquarium. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode setting up this beautiful brand new centerpiece in your home and uh, I hope you come down, check it out. Hit us up in the comments section below. Let us know your questions, comments, concerns with the setup like this or anything you're curious about. We appreciate all the views and everything you guys help us create and do and be able to live our dream. And uh, now I get to film another video about marginal plants. So we'll, uh, we'll see you later. And as always, keep it fresh, baby. Thank you.